Today we have brought you the latest Tesla news. Tesla Gigafactory Berlin looks to start battery production in Q1 2023, reports suggest. Tesla solar-powered V4 supercharger station coming to Arizona. Tesla has special code for crash testing in its cars, and it's raising red flags. And, Tesla executive hints at cheaper electric cars ahead of robotaxi service. Let's get into all the details. So let's get started. Tesla Gigafactory Berlin is still in its early stages, but the Germany-based electric vehicle factory is aiming for some ambitious targets of its own. Among these is the facility's battery production, which is reportedly expected to begin sometime in the first quarter of 2023. Tesla's next generation of vehicles is expected to be powered by the company's next generation 4680 cells. The company currently equips some Texas-made Model Y with 4680 batteries, but in the future, Tesla's vehicle lineup is expected to adopt the new battery form factor. Gigafactory Berlin appears to be one site that is actively planning on equipping its vehicles with the new larger batteries. As noted in a BZ report, Tesla presented its 4680 battery technology in Grunheed this past Sunday. Tesla explained that instead of using thousands of small lithium-ion cells for its vehicles, the company intends to roll out cars that are equipped with significantly fewer but larger 4680 cells. The 4680 batteries are faster and cheaper to manufacture, and they are more environmentally friendly. Tesla's session appears to have attracted quite a lot of attention. On Sunday, about 1,000 visitors took the time to learn about the electric vehicle maker's new battery technologies. Questions about training and jobs at Gigafactory Berlin were reportedly addressed as well. Citing information that it acquired, German news outlet BZ noted that the interior work for Gigafactory Berlin's battery factory is already underway. Barring any unforeseen delays, 4680 battery production could begin in the first quarter of 2023. The target is reportedly to produce enough batteries to support 500,000 Teslas per year, the estimated optimum output of Giga Berlin's current state. Gigafactory Berlin still has quite a long way to go before it is fully ramped. The facility is estimated to produce only about 1,500 Model Y per week for now, but eventually, this output is expected to increase to about 10,000 cars per week. Mastering the production of 4680 cells is an uphill journey as well, as the larger cells utilize a dry coat electrode process, which is quite different from conventional battery making techniques. Moving to the next update, Tesla Solar Powered V4 Supercharger Station Coming to Arizona Tesla's first solar powered V4 supercharger station might be coming to Yuma County, Arizona. It would be one of the first known V4 supercharger stations in North America. According to Tesla supercharger connoisseur, Marco R.P. Tesla, the V4 supercharger station in Arizona is located by the Dateland Travel Center along Interstate 8. It will have 40 stalls. Two stalls are ADA accessible and one caters to vehicles with trailers. The addition of a stall that's specifically designed for trailers would likely be appreciated as it would cause less headaches to drivers charging at the same location. Tesla is also building two solar arrays spanning 4,500 square feet on the premises. The solar canopies will cover at least 40 supercharger stalls. Tesla plans to have a megapack on site too. The V4 charger stalls will be set to 250 kilowatt as the supercharger station will be seemingly optimized to cater to non-Tesla vehicles. Supercharger V4 concept plans retrieved by the electric vehicle advocate hinted that the new chargers will be more centered on a parking space than regular superchargers. They seem to still be equipped with Tesla's proprietary plugs. While other charging networks such as Electrify America offer outputs of up to 350 kilowatt, such charging speeds are only available in select locations and cater to relatively few electric car models like the Porsche Taycan. 
If Tesla's new superchargers can provide stable and fast charging, even for non-Teslas, it would likely go a long way towards proving that electric vehicles are indeed viable alternatives for internal combustion cars. Moving to the next update, Tesla has special code for crash testing in its cars, and it's raising red flags. It was discovered that Tesla has special codes in its vehicle software related to crash testing with auto safety agencies. It is raising red flags with those agencies. Tesla has an incredible record when it comes to crash safety. Its electric vehicles have consistently achieved top safety ratings with auto safety agencies around the world. Most recently, the Model Y has been getting a lot of accolades. We previously reported on the Model Y, acing its safety test with NHTSA and achieving the highest possible IAS safety rating. Last week, Euro NCAP and Australia's NCAP released their own testing results for the Tesla Model Y, and the electric vehicle achieved the highest Euro NCAP overall score under its new protocol. But now, those results are put into question due to a strange finding in Tesla's software. Green the only, a well-known Tesla hacker, who often finds interesting tidbits of information in Tesla's software, reported that Tesla has been adding code that involves crash testing agencies, including NCAP and Euro NCAP, which just tested the Model Y. Green was able to confirm that Tesla has been giving one-off builds to crash testing agencies and that the tweaks that the software code brings are non-visible settings on the autopilot side. Crash testing agencies do test for advanced driver assist features like autopilot, and Green speculated that it possibly could be to better conform to the test criteria. It is raising some red flags with safety agencies. One of NCAP's spokesperson told Drive that it is looking into the situation. To be clear, there are no specific allegations of cheating here, but the special code related to crash testing does raise some questions, which Tesla is not answering since it doesn't have a media relations department. The concern is that Tesla might be changing settings in its vehicles to optimize for the tests, which could be cheating. It's not unlike what happened during the Dieselgate scandal, when automakers were caught having software that detected when the vehicles were emission tested and optimized for better results than would happen outside of the lab. While the special code doesn't mean that Tesla is cheating, the automaker has some explaining to do. Moving to the last update, Tesla executive hints at cheaper electric cars ahead of robotaxi service. A Tesla executive has hinted at the automaker offering cheaper electric cars ahead of launching its robotaxi service. Tesla CEO Elon Musk recently said that he was embarrassed by how expensive the automaker's electric cars are at the moment. With inflation, the rising cost of battery materials, and strong demand, Tesla's prices went up significantly across its entire EV lineup over the last two years. Now the cheapest Tesla you can buy starts at $46,000 in the US, and the Model Y, Tesla's most popular vehicle, starts at a whopping $66,000. Musk has talked about reducing prices once inflation comes down. He has also previously talked about a cheaper $25,000 Tesla electric car, but it has put the project on the back burner in favor of other programs at Tesla. At times, the CEO also said that he is not sure a cheaper Tesla model is needed with the advent of self-driving, resulting in the cheapest form of transportation being a large ride-hailing fleet powered by self-driving electric vehicles. Recently, Tesla announced plans to build its own dedicated robotaxi vehicle for the service. Now, at the invite-only Goldman Sachs Tech Conference in San Francisco recently, Martin Vicha, Tesla's head of investor relations, gave a presentation about the company, in which he described what to expect from Tesla over the next five years. According to a third-party account of the presentation, released by Business Insider, Vicha reiterated plans for a cheaper vehicle and an overall cheaper offering ahead of the robotaxi service. The executive didn't elaborate on the timing, beyond saying it would come before the robotaxi service, which itself has been delayed several times. The executive also noted that Tesla has yet to pull some demand triggers for the vehicle, including an emphasis on leasing. While price is one metric 
Vicha told investors that the cost of building electric cars is the most important metric to follow. Despite rising prices, Vixa noted that Tesla's cost per car went from $84,000 in 2017 to $36,000 per vehicle in recent quarters. He believes there's still room for improvements and hinted that the Tesla Robotaxi could bring some of those improvements in the form of a new generation platform, which would be Tesla's third, after the Model S and X being the first, and Model 3 and Y being Tesla's second generation platform. That's it for now. So what are your thoughts about this? Let us know in the comments. Stay tuned at the electric arena for all the latest Tesla and electric vehicle news.